Hi everyone. Um, welcome to Junk Drawer Art with Miss Riley. I am Miss Riley. It is um, a beautiful Friday outside and um, I've been doing Fun Friday now for um, the last month and I kind of wanted to up Fun Friday a little bit and start to introduce some more famous artists into it. So for the month of May, um, Fun Friday is going to be Famous Artist Friday, and I'm actually going to start our um, review, review, our, our learning about um, famous artists by talking about um, a very famous American sculptor whose name was Alexander Calder. He um, was really prolific. He really worked in like the, the mid-1900s, like the 1940s, the 1950s. Um, you should see a piece of his work coming up here as I talk about him. Um, he he was really innovative and had a lot of really cool new ideas about how sculpture should work. Um, he created a lot of, honestly, they were, they were mobiles. Um, they were pieces of art that were meant to hang or meant to stand, and they would rotate or move, um, so they would use motion within them. Um, he also created a lot of really large, like building size sculptures for cities, like in their parks and different areas. Um, all of his work was really abstract, so a lot of shapes, a lot of colors, a lot of um, different designs, um, just really beautiful lines. Um, he just really, he really rev revolutionized the way we look at sculpture and, and look at um installation art, art that you put places. And he um, he's, he was such a big deal in American art that he actually has his own room um, in uh, in the museum in Washington, D.C. Um, so he he is, you know, just really important to American sculpture. He, he was a big innovator. And so I kind of wanted to do a fun version that I've done before. Um, here is a finished one that I've already done. So his sculptures had a lot of lines, um, a lot of bright colors. So all you really need for this is a pair of scissors and some construction paper. The stiffer the construction paper is, the better it is. See, this will actually stand on its own. Um, and that's kind of, I'll lower this just a little bit. Um, and that's kind of what we would hope. So really the ideal shape that you want is a rectangle. Um, if you have a piece of paper that's a more standard size, um, one easy way to do this is just to kind of take your scissors and you don't even have to measure it really and it doesn't have to be perfectly straight. If you want to you can use my ruler trick to measure it out and draw a straight line with a ruler to cut. I'm just going to cut like this and it really doesn't matter the size. It can be really large, it can be smaller. Um, the larger a piece the larger it'll be. And really all you need to do to get started is to fold your piece of paper in half. And then what you're going to do is, starting on this open side, you don't want to cut this because this part right here that you just folded is going to be your centerpiece. You want everything to come out from that. So you're going to take this folded line right here and just start cutting into it. So what I did for this one, and I'll do it here to show you, is just simple, like, arching. If you want to draw them first, you can. So you can draw them with a pencil and then cut them if you'd like to, if you have a younger student who needs some help with it. And I'm just going to arch it over and stop short of hitting this folded line because you want to have a little bit of stability and bend room. So I'm just going to keep cutting in that same pattern, maybe. I might even do four. Have it kind of like that. So now I can open it up. And it's, it actually looks really cool like this, but to get it to stand, I'm just going to start folding out these pieces in random directions. So maybe I'll fold this one this way, this one this way. You want to get a little bit of balance to it. You don't want to fold them all in one direction and fold it back like this. And you can kind of play with it. And the cool thing about these is you can constantly go back and move um, the legs like Calder's sculptures moved um, to kind of give it a different look or a different form. Um, it doesn't all have to be like the rainbow kind of loop look to it. You can actually take like this blue one and can fold it in half and you can do like more angular cuts if you want to to it. So I actually might cut the tip off of that and you can cut pieces away if you'd like to. And I might do, but you always need to start at the bottom because you want to give it legs to stand on. Maybe I'll do a more angular 
cut here so more like a like a like a um quadrilateral like with with straight lines here uh and then maybe on this one i might do it kind of wavy so you can kind of mix it up um it doesn't all have to be the same and maybe here i'll just do a little bit of a vertical line down from the bottom so then when i unfold it kind of fold all my pieces out that looks really cool and just kind of give it a different look to it. I don't know if you guys can see that. So that gives it an even like a just some variety to it. Um, so I hope you guys have fun today. This project can be um, as simple as you want it to be or as complicated and big as you want it to be. But I hope you um, end up with some really cool sculptures um, that show just a lot of like a lot of just visual interest and beautiful and fun. Um, it's fun to just kind of imagine what these things could be and you can hang them like a mobile like um, Calder often did. You can leave them on the tabletop. It's kind of up to you. Um, I hope you guys have a fantastic Friday. Um, John and I will see you tomorrow. We have something really fun, a fun, weird kind of painting in the kitchen for something fun, um, or steam it up Saturday, sorry. Um, please send me pictures or videos of your Calder-inspired creations. You can send them to me on Class Dojo if you're an Oakhurst student. You can um, send them to me on Facebook if you're my friend, or Twitter or Instagram at CSRileyTeach, and I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Bye!